Here's the photo workflow app on the right side and we have the files app running on the left side to show what's going on. What we're going to do is we're going to take a photo card from a camera and we're going to take the files from that card, call and name them using our iPad. Okay, so first thing we need to do is set up base directory. This is where your card will, where your, the app will put your images. So on your iPad, I have a workflow base directory set up there and I'm just gonna use that. Okay, once that's set up, we can offload the card. Now I shoot mine in RAW plus JPEG mode, so I'm gonna flip that on and I'm gonna put in here information about the pictures I took. I went to a lake called Santee Lakes to take these pictures, so I'll just name it that and I'll find my card. And my card, usually this shows up as untitled or no name or something like that. You'll see a DCIM directory, so that kind of close you in that you got the right card. And you open that. So it grabbed the 16 images and the 16 raw images, and it'll just show you what's left on the card that you it didn't know about. And this is just what Sony has on there. You can see there's no video or image files in there, so we're good. We can exit out of there. Oh, so what? over in here, you can see in Files app, a directory was created with today's date and the title that was entered here, Santee Lakes. And if we go into that, since it's in RAW plus JPEG mode, the RAWs are stuck in their own directory. And then here's all the JPEG files. And you'll see the JPEG files, like this was DS405894. That's what my camera named it. The date is pulled out of the EXIF of the file, of the image file, and added, appended to the name of the images. That also is occurring with the raw images as well. Okay, so we can now exit out of that, and we can go into calling. And here we've got the images are all going to show one by one on the bottom. And what we can do is we can go, okay, I like that one, so I'm going to pin it, and that puts it on the top. And you can pinch and zoom into the image and you can double tap the other one and that'll pinch and zoom at the same amount. And you can like look at it and say, oh, okay, I like the bottom image better. So this button here will trash the top image, put it into a trash directory. That'll show up in, the, in this structure and it'll pin the bottom one. So if we click on that, see the bottom one got replaced by the top one and now we've got a trash directory. So the images aren't deleted or anything, they're right here in the trash. But as you can see, we can keep going and keep going in here and go, oh, the eyes are shut on that one, I don't like it, I'm gonna trash that one. And here's one where the bird, oh, it's coming, it's a different view, so we'll keep both those. So I'll pin this one too. Now you can see we've got two pinned images up here on the top. And we can just keep doing this, going through our images, deciding which ones we like better getting rid of the old ones and as we go up oh, that one's kind of blurry i get rid of that one we go through all of our images for our roll and we can go back to the previous one to compare it to when you hit the trash pin button or the unpin button trash pin button here or the unpin button here, it'll um, deal with the image that you're, it's currently being displayed. So I can just pinch and zoom in, pick which image I like better. This one compares probably more to this guy. Yeah, I'll delete that one. And this is the process you just go through for the whole row. Roll, uh, roll. <laughs> the whole card full of images. So here, that's probably a better goose shot, so I'll replace that one. Ooh, even better. Even better yet. Oh, we got a wood duck here. So we're bringing the wood duck. That one's kind of dark. Oh, let's keep both those. And we're done. That's our images that we've got. So now if we go back here to control, we'll see we have five JPEG images and 16 raw images and 11 in the trash because we trashed, since it's in raw plus JPEG mode, we trashed um, 
11 of the 16 images. And we can just say trash the extra raws, and that goes in there and it figures out which raws correspond to those JPEGs, and it throws those all into the trash too. So now we've got our five images we have here, and we've got the five raws, and we've got a trash directory. When we're done, we can hit this delete trash directory, and that'll take this and stick it into the deleted. And you can always go into files and pull that back out if you in recently deleted if you need to. Okay, but that's the calling. And now naming, we can come in here and we can put in Santee Lakes. This is gonna be naming the file. And then the clears part here is what gets wiped out each time you name it. So this is a, called the hooded merganser. So we'll name that. And so if you go back to see the file, you can see it's named Santee Lakes Hooded Merganza right there. And the Santee Lakes stuck around because that's the state. We can always clear it with the X. And then here, the Hooded Merganza, oh, it's, we need to use that again. So we can go back into, click right here and get our list of terms we've used before, Hooded, hooded Merganza, so we can name that, and this is a Canada Goose. This is a Wood Duck. And this works with the built-in keyboard as well, or the virtual keyboard. I'm just trying to move things along a little faster here. Wood duck again, so we click that. Here's the list of words we've put in and we can just grab the one we've done before, which is wood duck. All right, and that's five of five, we've got them all named. So we've called them, named them. Now if you trash something and you go, oh, I didn't mean to trash that, you can click on the trash directory here and here's what's in the trash. And you can always pull that back out by undeleting it. All right, and here's thumbnails. And here you can click on any of them and go into each one of these images and you can view it. You can, again, you can pinch zoom into it or whatever, and you can click. And you can also use a finger to swipe to previous or next image through the images. This is a good way to show the images to people. You know, it'll, it'll be a little bit, um, you know, see full size, full screen images. All right, that's the basic flow. There are advanced ones we won't get into now, but, um, that's it. Here's to set the image directory, which basically if you've done this more than one time, you might have multiple directories here. You can switch back to an older one. All right. And you can do non-raw plus JPEG mode. And then that in, that's if you're just shooting JPEG or raw mode and it'll deal with those. Um, and there's a question mark for help on each one of these and it'll pop up and give you information about the, the different controls on the screen and basic information. All right.